Hi, my name is Vicki Fairchild. I'm here again with my sister Selma. And today we're going to talk about some of the crazy things that can be said by people like me, by special educators. Oh, okay. <laughs> to parents. And I'm going to start with a story. Okay. Uh, when I was, I think, in graduate school, okay. uh, you came home one day. <laughs> Because you had met with a behaviorist. Okay. And the behaviorist and had said to you that Joshua's behaviors were related to the fact that he wasn't having a regular routine when he got home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we laughed because I don't know how she expected you with four other children to have him have the same schedule every day when you were running to practices, you were running to this, you were running to that. And it was kind of clear that she there was a big disconnect between <laughs> your life reality and her recommendations for what she thought would solve some of his behavioral challenges. They, they just weren't possible. I mean, <laughs> they just weren't possible. They weren't possible. <laughs> they were not possible. There was no way that Joshua could have the exact same schedule every time no. he got home. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could cancel, all, could have canceled all no. the activities of your other children, but. I wanted my children also, all of them, to have every opportunity. So they, you know, <laughs> They weren't going to miss out because I of Joshua's needs. So I'm just wondering, can you think of any other times where you were like, mm, we might be having a disconnect here? <laughs> uh, I think when one of them kind of got after me because he couldn't dress himself. <laughs> <laughs> and having, I don't remember how old he was at the time, maybe eight. Uh -huh. And he couldn't pu pull up his own pants. And I said, yes, that's true. Yes. <laughs> he cannot dress himself. The only thing Joshua could do is if he had a loose enough t-shirt on, he could pull it off and throw it. <laughs> yeah, he was very good at that. that. He couldn't pull on his own socks. His motor, fine motor skills weren't really good. And so we did work on that, but at some point you have to work on other things. Right. And realize that other things were more important than dressing himself. So she did understand that, but at the time I felt, didn't feel like a good mother because he wasn't dressing himself yet. Right. And that clearly was an expectation. Can yeah. you think of any other ways? You may be, we maybe had a different idea than you did. Uh, you know what? I can't. I really felt like they saw Joshua and w w was able to take who he was and work on goals that were appropriate yeah. for his level. Right. And so oh, maybe actually I do remember one. They, okay. They, sorry. I, th I thought there I were more. We, we did work on the throwing thing. Okay. Because he, we did have a huge problem because he basically did throw everything. He loved to throw. He, he, he did to throw, throw everything. Stuffed animals. Yeah. He loved to throw. My garage door opener in my car was way under my seat where his long arm couldn't reach because <laughs> that and many other things. So one of the teachers did try to solve the throwing problem. And I really appreciate that she tried to solve it, but it didn't work. Yes. But she did try. She just said, and this might work for another child. She just said, give him his favorite thing <laughs> and, you know, reward him with it and he won't throw it. And, oh. we, and I was pretty sure it wouldn't work because I did live with him. But we tried it. But he actually threw his favorite things even more for some reason. I have no idea. He just had to throw. It was like a little spring in his arm that had to throw. And he loved it. It didn't matter how much he loved something. It was out the door. What I, I love about what you're saying is that even when some of these suggestions came where you were like, mm, I don't think that will work, <laughs> you were always willing to try. I, we did try it. We some of them shorter it. than others. <laughs> and I think that's a, a lesson actually for special educators and for parents. Yeah. Um, because sometimes special educators will come up with an idea that a parent might go, mm, I don't think so. Well, and, it, and, and it there is work. one. Yeah. They told me they were going to teach him the computer. Oh. And I actually, uh, he had done fairly well with the keyboard, and uh -huh. it was just a simple backyard baseball game. Um, but he wa the teacher said he was going to teach him the mouse. And I went, oh, I, I don't think Joshua will learn the mouse. Well, 
he did learn the mouse. Right. Not maybe not like you and I learned the mouse, but he learned it enough to play Will Fortune. His game. Backyard baseball. And so it was successful t for him. Yes. So I, I was humbled more than <laughs> times that I would like to say. <laughs> so I, I, and I think that that's a good, it, it's good that you're willing to try. Yeah. And I think though what conversely, sometimes parents will come into meetings, and this is to us special educators, and they'll have some ideas of things they want us to try. Right. And we might be like, Oh, no, no, that won't work. <laughs> and sometimes we're wrong. Right. And that's okay. Yeah. Because as we're working together for this child right. and trying to find out what can work, we might get to say some crazy things. Yeah. We, and, we, I saw some advancement with him that was so exciting. Yes. That and was that, done by his teachers. Yes. And they can come from the teacher. Yeah. And sometimes they'll be wrong. Yeah. And sometimes they'll be right. Right. But it's how we take it right. when they do give that. Yeah. And because if we don't try, we'll never know what's going to happen. And I was safe enough with them to say, I don't think that will work <laughs> without them thinking I was a bad mom. I mean, you know, I was, wow, I don't see him doing that. But we, yeah. Right. But it was always wonderful if the result was positive. That relationship. Yeah. That relationship was really important. Yeah. yeah. Because guess what? It is kind of a guessing game. It's a guessing game. Sometimes we can't tell what a child is going to do. But what we can do, even when those crazy suggestions might be made, yeah. is to maybe give them a, tr a try. And, and everything is a learning. Everything teaches us on how we can better serve the child. Right.